Hello, hello. So what I install is the crash bars, or crash protection, whatever. It's quite good, to be honest. Nice and solid. And also, like everybody does, you know, the protection for the radiator. Cooling. It's good to have it. I agree. Why I'm gonna change still is probably um, those. Maybe for green ones, which mark the match the um, the color from the whole bike. I find already one on uh, Amazon, but is I have to figure out how you can install them. Usually they're coming with some kind of rubber, and when you screw them, they kind of exp the, the rubber expand. That one have a um, um, it's like a 10, 10 millimeter bolt inside. There's no space for any rubber or any expansion stuff like this. Um, the lever is gonna go probably because I don't like them. I like short ones, so I will change this one as well. What else? Like I said, I removed the passenger foot bags. Um, that whole plastic thing, the chain guard and the mud guard is gonna go. I ordered one from <laughs> China, obviously. Uh, we will see when it's arrived. I'm gonna show you. So apparently it's um, aluminium, so it's longer and it's as a one piece, no sorry, it's like two pieces with three screws on that side that you can put separately the chain guard and the mud guard. Well, you can screw it together and it looks like one piece. It's coming with different colors. Uh, I was looking for green one, but after that I decided that I'm gonna go for black like anything else. And um, let's see, when it's arrived, I'm gonna try to put on if it fits, because he's saying it's um, dedicated to this model. So when it arrive, I will put it on and i show you guys how this is gonna look like. The tie, uh, tail tidy is coming soon as well probably in two three weeks uh, because I want to keep this fender because yeah, I like it and let's see how this tail tidy is gonna look like apparently hold that thing is gonna go away small number plate is gonna go and it's just gonna be like a little metal thing sticking out which I can put the number plate and it's gonna look hopefully nice and sleek and clean um, what else I did uh, the padlock stand 29 pounds from Amazon is no bad company is called black whatever so I put also that kind of thing is I think is more easy and also it's like kind of like a protection if you let's say your bike gonna fold off that whole thing to be honest with you I probably can sit on a bike I wouldn't say is that strong like other ones but the, the you know the, the most professional one you you're gonna probably pay like 150 or 200 pounds or dollars whatever you name it probably dollars is gonna be cheaper than if you pay 200 then 200 pounds but um, this one is no bad to be honest no bad quality it doesn't wibble it doesn't make any squeezing squiggly noise like other cheap stuff I'm happy with this for this use which I have in my shed like I said I'm not professional mechanic so this probably and it's easy to leave the bike up and put it down really easy you don't have to do that much you don't <laughs> even my little girls you know my little daughters can do that seriously probably on the rims I'm gonna put some kind of reflecting stickers with maybe logo of Yamaha or XSR 700 I don't know yet I don't like when it's just black. I like to have reflecting tape. I think this looks better. That is personal opinion, obviously. So, when all this stuff coming, I will, I will, you know, let you know if it fits. I will try to make a video when I put it on the bike. Uh, the screen, as you can see, is. No bad screen, it's quite of good protection. It's from English company called Dart. I have the same uh, on my Kawasaki before, I mean halfway. And I even cut it even that in half as well after that. And it's a, it's a good, good quality. 
Is it better than Puke? I am not sure. But I'm happy with this one and I think Dart company is making very good products. You can see them on a BMW R90 as well. Very similar. I was looking as well for like aluminium one. It looks like a alum brush aluminium kind of small you know uh, windscreen over there but I'm 6.2 or 6.1 actually 185 centimeters high guy so I need a little bit more wind protection with the small ones it's usually blowing straight on my face with that believe or not when I'm sitting it's just blowing above my helmet so it's, it's good for me I don't say it's the most pretty one or good looking you know windscreen but do the job so I'm not gonna change this right now the mirrors hmm, I'm not sure maybe I go for the hand mirror uh, hand bar mirrors to give a more clean look but then you have to, I have to just be careful because I keep my bike in my shed so the gate as you can see is just just enough to put the hand bars and if I put something like mirror on the handbars and extend it even more, I'm guessing I'm gonna struggle to put the bike through the garden, to the gate, or through to the shed. Anyway, like I said, when the staff arrive, I try to make the video and I show you what I done still with the bike. The project is still on, <laughs> probably is gonna carry on for a few months like I said I don't have a lot of money to put all this gadget or give it to someone and let's say yeah you have 10 things I want this change do it and I pay after now I'm gonna do everything on my own why I can except the electronic uh, stuff uh, like the power commander um, think this probably I will go to the Yamaha service and they gonna probably do this for me so let's see Ciao, take care.